There are many flight controllers in the market and Dynaton makes one of the best ones or many of the best ones that you can find. I recently got one, the most current one, the MK4F722 app from them to test and tell you a little bit about it. I can say that I'm loving this flight controller. It has very big pads where you can solder very nicely. It has a lot of ports, a lot of UARTs to uh, use whatever you want. It has a DJI connector, which makes the setup and installation of your Vista or Air Unit or even the Voxney uh, VTX very, very simple. That same connector has a 9 volt regulator that gives you very clean uh, power to your VTX. So this card has a lot of to like. Another key thing, a selling point from this card comes from the name APP or app, which means that the card has uh, connectivity to a tool, to a software called SpeedyB. If you are not familiar with SpeedyV, it's an app that you run on your mobile device that allows you to configure in the field your drone without having to connect it to your computer and opening Betaflight. It's essentially Betaflight on your phone to do your configurations easily on the field. But here's the thing. When I tried to connect this card to SpeedyV the first time, I couldn't. So, I figured out how to do it and that's what I want to tell you today how to do because in my opinion it's not the simplest way or it's not the common or, or the most uh, used way to do it. So I want to show you in case that you face a similar problem than me and give you the way how to do it. But first let's give some seconds to my sponsor. Do you need a good service to print your circuit boards? I'm sure PCB Way will have the right solution for you at the best price. They don't only have different kinds of PCB like Flex PCB and Advanced PCB, but now you can get your circuit boards with higher TG at the same price. Imagine that. Remember, PCB Way can help you with many other services. Go and visit them at their website. And right now it's the 8th anniversary and have a lot of promotions ongoing. So if you have used PDB app before, you know that normally it connects over Bluetooth or it discover those flight controllers over Bluetooth. And then I believe that if you're gonna do a firmware upgrade, it uses the Wi-Fi connectivity in order to download that big file into the flight controller. When it comes to the configuration, you have to make sure that you are selecting the right UART on the flight controller from Betaflight and you enabled MSAP. How to know which one is the right UART? Only the manufacturer can tell you where did I install the Wi-Fi on those UARTs that you have on the card. So if you see, for example, on this card, you open the, the manual or the diagram of the Mamba and you see here the UR4 is the one for Wi-Fi. So that one you have to make sure that is enabled and it has enabled MSP and then you can use the Wi-Fi here. But then one of the things that threw me out when I was trying to troubleshoot this is the fact that if you go to the internet and you read about SpeedyB and how it has to be set up, the people normally says that you have to have the baud baud rate in 19,200 to make SpeedyB app work. And for this card, for the Mamba MK4, I'm not sure if the MK3 or any other has the same thing, but for this card, I figure out that it has to be on the default, 115,000. So let's see, if you have a regular card, like for example, I have this Mark V in here, and I connect the power through USB, and then I take my SpeedyB app, you're gonna see that if I click on the Bluetooth button, I'm going to find the GPRC card and I can connect, and now I can use the Betafly from my mobile to configure this. And again, this is a regular way to do it and the one that I'm used to. 
If you look at the configuration of the Mark V, you have MSAP enabled on the right port, but you have 19,200 on the baud rate. That's important. If you have any other number, it's not gonna work. Now, if I take my MK4 from Diaton and I connect it, and I try to look the same way on Bluetooth, I'm not gonna find anything. And here is the detail of this card. First thing is, you have to connect Wi-Fi one-to-one with the card and the Wi-Fi network just shows up when you plug the power. So you plug the power in this case and as soon as you plug the power, you go to your phone, to the Wi-Fi networks and you're gonna see the Mamba stack in there. You choose that manually, you go back to your SpeedyB app and now, again, here's the other thing. You push on the Wi-Fi button and now you have the card to configure from the phone. So, to do a, a quick summary here, key things when we're talking about this card and troubleshooting SpeedyB. One, the Wi-Fi network just shows up when you are plugging the power. After a few seconds that you have power, on the flight controller, it's not gonna show anymore. Two, you have to manually connect to the Wi-Fi network before opening into your SpeedyB app. And number three, in the Speedy app, you select it's the Wi-Fi connectivity, not Bluetooth. Last thing here is to remember configuration when you're doing it, the manufacturer has to tell you where is located your Wi-Fi, which UART is the correct one. You have to have MSAP enabled on that UART and you have to have the speed in 115,000 for this specific card. I hope that this information is gonna help someone else out there. I know that it took me a while to figure this one out because there is not a lot of information on the internet around how to connect this car to the Wi-Fi or to the SpeedyB app. Diaton doesn't have a lot of information on their website and SpeedyB uh, doesn't say much about this. But here you have it. So hopefully it helps you. Thanks for watching and see you soon.